33.5 yards per game allowed rushing, and Marshall's going to throw on the first snap for Jalen Gant, who makes the catch in territory. Done, especially in a system like this, when you got them on their heels with the run game. 35-yard play, Jordan Mason on the dive. Yards re receiving and rushing. Never been done in the better than 125 years. Marshall on the option, keeper to the far side. And he will fall down on the 26. A couple weeks later, we'll see it again. It's brand new for a lot of people. Carl Pellini, he's coached against it just has been a while. Marshall on the pitch. Cersei, little dodge and dart. And inside the 20 goes Clay Cersei. Clay Seasons is a head coach. Second and short in a tight formation. Right ahead, and this is Mason. He tried to get to the right side. It'll be third and short, it looks like, to the short side of the game. You see that a lot from offenses. You see a lot of shifts from defenses, but not, not so extreme as you did these last couple plays. Here's Mason bouncing inside. First and goal, Georgia Tech on the run by Jordan Mason. Brandon Harris is just blowing off the ball and opening, opening up a, a hole a little bit bigger than you're used to around here. Mason, touchdown. Second rushing score of the year. For That's certainly the proud tradition of the Mac, too. I didn't see this. I'm sure that dad is really pleased with that off-flag trivia question. Thanks for reminding me. It's going to ring pretty clear. Here's Marshall on the pitch, and this is Cersei. Grace Cersei to the 45. Good job, Dak. Pushing his guy back. A nice job. Get it up near midfield on the first play. Jerry Howard's coming at the B-back spot. First and 10, and this is Howard, the sophomore. With his first carry of the day, Marcus Milton. Sometimes when you're in, a, you're in a rut, you need to just remember what to do, and you need a reminder to get back on track. Second down. Marshall again. This is the pitch. Nathan Cottrell. Oh, a good look there. Nice play, and that's Monte Gregor. EJ Jr. Oh. All right. Marshall, and he will have it. Broke the plane. Inside the 45. Bowling Green from Middletown, Ohio. Nice play right there. Here's Marshall looking to throw. Going to tee it up for Jalen Camp, who makes the catch inside the 10. Right over the top of Monte Gregg. Hand fighting going on. It was, it was outstanding coverage, but he slaps on his wrists off, and he uses that strength, taking it from the practice field out to the game field. Jerry Howard. First and goal. A lot longer when you go elsewhere because you don't talk to an offensive coordinator because he's the offensive coordinator. But it, uh, it, we spent some extra time in there with Coach Johnson the other day. It was fun. Here's Marshall on the key. Mm -hmm. They got to stop it. it. Yep. The whistles will blow. And now here's. As Oliver has played some snaps now. It's not like it's a guy coming fresh off the bench, hasn't taken many snaps this year. Third goal. Oliver tried to get there on the follow, fights his way. And Gets to the one. Brandon Harris, the linebacker, was there. Play of the quarter. Marshall under center. Fourth and goal. And he will fall into the end zone. The final play of the period. Taquan Marshall. Six. Look, they both high and tight there. <laughs> well, I will tell you this, you guys. Uh, Seth is expecting his first baby in three weeks. So Jared's Ooh. very excited to be an uncle very, uh, very soon. Yeah. Out of Jones AT&T Stadium. That guy there had to throw it with and against the win. There's plenty of it. That's the one job there. Marshall, he'll keep it on the option. Taquan turns it up. First down to the 41 for Georgia Tech. 15. Down to the ground. Can't make plays on the ground, and Marshall knows it takes advantage of it. Big pickup for first down. Marshall had it straight ahead, and Mason got a step. Nico Lutman. Well, again, and then just like we talked about earlier, that's, that's where you're going to get a, a Georgia Tech team. Usually isn't that balanced, even more balanced, because you're going to give them those opportunities. Here's again, going to throw deep. Clint Lynch is there. Caught. Inside the 20. And you're a step behind Clinton Lynch. And again, a nice job by these receivers of taking care of Taquan Marshall, holding on to that football. Nice look. Marshall on the pitch. Nathan Cottrell lowers the shoulder. Pick up seven or eight here on first down. By the way, that's fantastic. Congratulations. It's, you know, and, and one thing that you don't see is that it's a job that does blocking all the time. Yep.
And, and I mean that. I mean, it's... Marshall on the ground. Here's Mason now at the D-back spot on first and goal. Base one for the Jackets. They lead by four. Sorted that out nicely. Looking front four. A lot of teams have to have three down linemen because they don't have too many big bodies. There's Cottrell on the toss. He'll score the touchdown. touchdown. Nathan Cottrell's second rushing score behind the last year's team, but helping out what was a very ugly punt. Base look for Georgia Tech. Toss and this is seriously working the edges. Toward the 24. That's a game. company up front leading the way as well. Yeah, that's got to feel pretty good for this offense. Got those big hitters like that. Jerry Howard, the sophomore straight up. They haven't seen it in a while. And... How about that, huh? <laughs> 2012. How's that video catalog Here's Marshall with counter and the pitch, and Nathan Cottrell sets sail. Cottrell breaking three. Hard running across midfield. Very end of the play. He fell down, but he popped right back up and, and got his guy and cleared the way. Howard again. Trying to find a little cutback. Picks up about five. Working for that offense. Man, it is it is no fun at all. That's the way it actually was in the second half for this offense against Pitt. Had him on the heels. Cottrell trying to get to the corner. He will. And works his way inside the 40. It's just when, when one thing works, it all works. And if and if they are disciplined, if they hold on to the football and it's clean, and it's a thing of beauty. If you're if you're on that side, the other side, it's a nightmare. Going to take a deep shot, looking for Searcy. Can't come up with it. First miss in the pass game today. Chip away, chip away, chip away with the run, and then you set him up for the big hit. There aren't a lot of the short dink and dunk passes, so his per, his percentage should never be super high. The quad, the pitch. Here's Lynch. Another nice first down and plenty of time to go to try to put in the end zone before going into the halftime locker room. Nice play of the drive. Here's a little counter, and that is Howard again on a little cutback for five. Howard carries the ball. It'll be second down at five of the clock. You know, full speed when it's second not yours. You know, those collisions add up when you're banging with those bodies that are assigned to the dive all day long. Marshall right back on it to Hazel Lee. He's a preseason All-ACC guy mm -hmm. before the injury last spring. Marshall, counterplay this time. And a late pitch, seriously first down, and then took a shot out. He's a good player for him, but it's, it's not easy for anybody, even the top tackler on the squad. First to go. Marshall on a follow. And down toward the end. And it hasn't been quite as smooth as, as they had hoped. You see a whole heck of a lot more than that throughout the course of a game. That's, that's a tough one. Wow, big block here. Off the seventh, the toss. That's Lynch. And they can tack on some yardage to that one. Again, the guys on the outside, those B-backs and receivers are doing a good job blocking here. Marshall will do a step shy of the first. Get guys biting on those, those run fakes so hard against this Georgia Tech team. They're showing you that he can drop it in there, too. And got a little lean up front, and I believe that was... There's Carl Pellini. Defensive coordinator. First down, play fake for Marshall. Uh oh, another guy running loose. And the ball is caught. And this is Steven Dolphus. That one could have been a whole lot more, but hey, we'll take it. That's the fourth completion of the day on five attempts. Jordan Mason rattling up the middle. For about six or seven on first down. On and on about Brooks, didn't he? Nice play by the Falcons there. Colby Chupe does a good job there of keeping a nice broad stance and they, the ability to come back and drop it. Right ahead, Mason. He will go untouched. 33 yards for a touchdown. First and 10, Georgia Tech. I think 
It's Antoine Owens. And it was. Here's George attack working the edges. Great shot that he had taken. And here there's 8.30 left in the third quarter in this second half after coming out of the locker room. Jerry Howard to be back. Here's Marshall with a bit of a follow play. To the end zone. Straight ahead, Howard. The walk in the end zone. Six for six of the Jackets now, James. Reality at times with Paul Johnson. He's, you know, he, he does a lot of good individual things. You got to play within this scheme. Good job there, stretching. Yeah, got by Juan Marshall. He's been such a good kid, such a good leader for this team. You got to feel good for him to go out and have a day like he did here today against Bowling Green. Try to get back on track in his senior year. Here's the pitch. Amari Jarrett diving out of bounds. Did a great job coming in against Charlie Strong's team. And Taquan Marshall got banged up a little bit, and that was the game that they lost Benson as well. And here comes his fourth touchdown run. 34 yards for two and a half. In there. Syracuse has just scored, and they're trying to push it back to a 10 point lead early in the fourth. And Tiger Town, and here's Oliver on the run again for Georgia Tech to start the drive. Chemical injury. Now, it was his non throwing shoulder, but nonetheless, right? Well, without a doubt, it looked like it was going to be a few more weeks at least before they get him back. Oliver that time, hammered by the bride. We met a quarterback, an outstanding leader. We've gone for the season. It'll be Ryan Willis in there leading the show for the Hurricanes. It's a toss coming to your side and trying to work his way up the back side. Be on a fourth and goal, by the way. Wow. Yeah. Well, and you know what? Let that be a lesson to all these kids. I mean, you look across the college football landscape and all these kids that... There's Oliver looking for camp and... He's you know, that hey, looks fun. Hey, Rebecca, Bates, you should have seen the glisten that Bates just got in his eye up here. I heard, Holy smokes. I heard her talking about it on the phone call earlier <laughs> this week, and I was just picturing the little yellow slip and slide. Tobias Oliver is gone. 62 yards. Here's the keeper. So Macrina is from Sewanee. Tech and Duke, but all eyes on that one to see what the heck's gonna, gonna happen. Yeah. It's, it wasn't too long ago, and that was the gossip, and not just the gossip in the ACC, but the gossip in the country when Louisville Florida State got together. James, where teams kind of got to reset a little bit after three. Well, and, and how's this for a reset? I mean, this, you, you can't ask for more if you're a Georgia Tech fan when it comes to resetting after the, the struggles. and. You know, and everybody expected them to struggle against Clemson, but...